Forever shall he live, a hero. Philip Lassiter. His bravery and his courage shall serve as an eternal reminder of the cause for which he so valiantly fought and so willingly gave his life. Never let us forget that his sacrifice was the greatest that man can be called upon to make for his country. Philip died that you might live and that Lassiter's city might forever breathe the clean, fresh air of democracy. August 7th, 1863. A date which has been gloriously inscribed on the scrolls of heroism. Four years have we honored his memory. Forever we shall con continue to honor it. To you, Philip, do we proudly commemorate this day. To you and the cause for which you fought and died. The destruction of the Confederate enemy. You get a move on. We have to finish that line fence this afternoon. We can't stay here all day. Lassiter Memorial, Lassiter Statue. Keep your voice down. Four years. I'm sick to death of it. Hey, give him a hand with those banners. Pick the worst day of the year to come here. Take my advice and drift. Just visiting. You visit someplace else. I'm trying to clean up this street. It's a lot of statue. I must be pretty proud of him. Proud enough to call a holiday once a year. That way we don't forget who caused his death. That's part of a soldier. Like a uniform. I advised you to clear out. Now I'm telling you. Mount up and ride south across the line. There aren't any more lines. We're on the same side now. Gives me the right to pay my respects. All right. I'll give you time enough to do just that. <laughs> Catch up on his drinking. That Lassiter woman. Closing up the saloon. All on account of that hero son of hers. I'm telling you, she's gone too far. What'll it be? Corn or red eye? No, thanks. Can you tell me how to get to the Lassiter ranch? Yeah, you just What ride business down? you got with the Lassiter, Sonny? Whatever business it is, it's none of yours. You just go yeah. right down. Well, me and my brother here ain't partial to anything that bears the Lassiter name right now. Reb. That woman and her high-handed ways. Well, now, that is your business and none of mine. Now, can you tell me how to get... You rebel, dirt! You can't talk to me that way. Oh. 
Can you tell me how to get to the Lassiter place? Yes, sir. You ride right past the livery and take the first road to the left. Much obliged. So to cover the melon and the mess. Mother, we'll see you in a minute. It's a nice house, ma'am. Wouldn't you like to sit down? Thanks. Did you know my brother well? Only saw him once. Oh, I see. Not the best way to strike up a friendship being an opposite. We're in different colors. This town must be mighty proud of your brother. Yes. As a rule, people have short memories. To get that kind of treatment, he must have left something pretty special behind. He did. A mother. It was nice of you to wait. Please forgive me. I was resting. It's been a trying day. I guess I picked a bad time. I, I didn't know it was one of your holidays. You couldn't have known. This is the only place in the world that today is a holiday. It was on August 7th that I lost my son. I'm sorry. Well, we're all one now. And I want you to feel completely at home here. Thank you. I, uh, I don't believe you told me your name. Yuma, Johnny Yuma. Yuma, Yuma. Beth, dear, why haven't you offered Johnny some refreshments? Oh, no, no, thanks. Oh, Just then do my... sit down. It's so good to have a young man in the house again. Over here, please, beside me. Now, you must tell me all about Philip. I'm afraid there's not too much to tell, except that... except that he wanted you to know he died like a soldier. And that he wanted me to... bring this back to you. It belonged to my father. I gave it to Philip the day he went off to war. I had hoped it would bring him safely back to me. But at least it brought you back. I only wish it could have done that for both of us. Well, in a way, it has. You're so like Philip in many ways. I'm sure you understand my curiosity about how you and he happened to be together at the time of his death. Well, his, uh, his company was outnumbered. His men started to retreat. But he forged ahead like, like the whole war depended on him. I was closest when he fell. I could tell by the look on his face that there, well, that there was something he had to say to someone anyone. That's when he asked me to come here. No need for me to tell you what kind of soldier your son was. That monument speaks plainer than words. I'm very grateful. It's as if a part of Philip has been returned to me. If only you could have fought shoulder to shoulder instead of face to face. Yes, ma'am. Beth, dear, this young man must be rewarded for his trouble. 
Uh, bring the cash box from the library, please. Oh, no, no, Mr. Lassett, I don't want anything. But I insist you've come a long way to do me this favor. Not exactly, ma'am. I, I just now happen to be in this part of the country. Nevertheless, you shall have a hundred dollars for your trouble. A hundred dollars? Is it enough? I can't take anything. You are like Philip. You're so proud and so unyielding. Then I have the solution. I know you won't refuse. Why don't you stay here on the ranch with us and earn your money? Please, it would mean so much. It would be a living reminder of Philip. Please. I'll stay. You've made a mother very happy. This is where you'll live. Foreman's name is Jess Kirby. He'll give you your instructions. This is real fine living. Work is hard. There won't be much time for anything else. I've earned a lot less doing a lot more. Will you leave after you've earned the money? Depends. On what? How friendly I find the cattle. Leave now, Johnny, please. Nothing but trouble has ever followed anyone to last at her house. Trouble and hatred. Leave now, Johnny. Please get out before you become like us. Like who? We can store the flag for another year, Mrs. Lassiter. Thank you, Jess. That was a fine speech you made today. Philip would have been mighty proud. Jess, I've put on a new hand. He's down at the bunkhouse now. A new hand? What for? We have more than we need now to run the place. I'll be the judge of that. All right. What's his name? Johnny Yuma. Don't bother to remember it. He won't be here that long. He was a part of the Confederate Army. He was a part of the enemy that killed my son. Put him to work for now. I have my own plans for a murderer. like the wind's blown from the south. Getting so it doesn't do any good to clean up the bunks anymore. You get rid of the roaches and look what you wind up with. Now, Pike, <laughs> is that a way to welcome a southern colonel? Offer the man a mint julep. Don't push. You new man? That's right. Pike Larson, glad to have you with us. Johnny Huma. This uh, ugly critter back here is Ike Rover. I don't know you, Rover. You're in the wrong pew, partner. That bunk belongs to me. <laughs> Ain't that sweet. He keeps some sort of diary. Maybe we should crush a rose between the pages, huh? <laughs> so it's you, huh? I hear you're gonna be with us for a while. For a while. I'm Kirby, foreman. I want you to feel right at home around here, Reb. We're gonna make things nice and cozy for you for a while. Surely you can tell me more about Philip. Isn't it possible there's something else, some small detail that you might have overlooked? 
I don't think so, Mrs. Last. There, there, there wasn't much time, you know. Yes, I suppose that's true. Once a man has been hit at close range, it doesn't take very long. Does it, Johnny? Oh, Mother, must we? Does it, Johnny? No, I guess not. I'd better be on my way. You must come more often, Johnny. These moments when we can talk about Philip mean a great deal to me. All right, Mrs. Lassiter. Good night. Good night. Such a nice young man. Why must you draw him out like that about the war? Isn't it obvious he doesn't want to talk about it? Yes, my dear. Quite obvious. I'm wondering if his reasons aren't just as obvious. What are you driving at? The truth. The truth about Johnny Yuma, how I lost my son. The war is over. And Philip's dead. Why can't we leave them both where they belong? In the past. Philip's not dead. He'll never be dead. As far as I'm concerned, he's all that's alive in Lassiter House. I can't spend another day in that house. I'm leaving. Beth, this, this is your home. These are your people. Lassiter House isn't a home anymore. It's a private graveyard filled with the mother's memory of her dead son. And I'm not going to spend the rest of my life chained to that memory. But where would you go? Anywhere. I don't really care. Running away doesn't help, Beth. I know. You've got to fight. Some things can't be fought. It's only a memory, Beth. Sooner or later, memories are forgotten. Forgotten? How can you forget something that haunts you every day of your life? That's carved in bronze in the center of the towel. And that's celebrated with speeches and flags. A whole town living in the shadow of a statue. Not a statue of Lincoln, but a boy. These people are trying to forget the war and their own dead sons, and she won't let them. It's no use, Johnny. As long as my brother stays alive in that house, there won't be room for anyone there. Beth? Maybe you won't have to worry anymore. Is this what you're looking for? Over here, a private property? Nothing's private here. House rules. You want to make a complaint? Mistake, kid. You should never have wrote those things in that buggy of yours, but no one will ever read it. Kirby is such a loyal servant, I knew you'd want him to be here. You're quite adept with a gun, aren't you? But I hardly think you'll need one here. This isn't a battlefield. You were right, Mrs. Lassiter. There was something else about Philip. A small detail he kept trying to dig out of me. 
I only wish you hadn't dug so deep. August 7th, 1863. Another day for those of us who lived through it. For the others, bloodshed and death. Hope for a quick peace fades into the thick blue smoke of roaring cannons. This morning we attacked the Union Supply Depot. The enemy resisted fiercely. If there's such a thing as a cowardly soldier, I had my first look at one today. It was a Yankee corporal making a one-man retreat. His screams rose above the guns and then he fell. Shot by a musket that was not one of ours. I kneeled beside him and tried to give comfort. Before he died, he made a request. A message to his mother. A message of bravery beyond the call of duty. I'd like to be alone. Please. what you were really like inside. I've known ever since you were a boy. I can't protect you anymore, Philip. Where they only 
only law was a hook and a draw the rebel away. Johnny Yuma, Johnny Yuma was a rebel. He rode through the West. Did Johnny Yuma? Searched the land, this restless land. He was panther quick and leather tough. If he figured that he'd been pushed enough, the rebel, Johnny Umar, the rebel, Johnny.